Hello guys, I hope everybody's safe in home. Uh, I'm Krishani, Mrs. Summerlin. I want to give you a recommendation about a very good book that just launched a few days ago. This book you can find in Amazon and it's a great story about a wonderful woman that she's our Shiro. She uh, is a founder of Be A Shiro Foundation and she wrote this story um, to help vulnerable young girls to speak out, like girls that suffer abuse, uh, girls that was uh, sex trafficked, uh, little girls that had a terrible story, tragedy. Anyway, she is a survivor for so many bad things, Kimberly Myers, and she started from zero. This is all about this book. It is like zero to zero. She started from zero, homeless, like uh, motherless at age at age 10, homeless at 15 years old. She was uh, sex abused, sex exploited, and then uh, at 18 years old she was gang raped and she started sell drugs uh, because she didn't have any resource. Uh, her mother was suicide and she felt that she had to go uh, do something for a living and that was the opportunity she had to sell drugs and she overcome all this and she started a career in in payment uh, payrolls and she's amazing she became one of the most influential people here in las vegas she has a a non-profit organization and she has her own business she she changed all that situation to good and she's helping many young girls now so there's a moment in your life that you start questioning yourself what I'm doing to my life, like what what I'm gonna follow, uh, because I cannot change my past. I cannot change where I come from. I cannot change my situation, how I was born. I cannot change bad things to happen to me, but I can change my future. I can change my future with my own decisions that I'm gonna do right now. So she make those questions. She started changing her life for good. She started take care of herself, take care of her health, leave that pain, leave that shame. Because when you're sexual exploited, when you're sexual abused, the, the the innocence, the beauty from you, they steal from you, and you lose confidence. So many girls that has this trauma of sexual abuse they go stopping drugs they go stop using drugs or they're gonna have another addiction in alcohol they're gonna have a suicide there's a big rate of suicide of girls that was raped so they're never gonna have a, a successful marriage maybe they're gonna go uh, stopping prostitution because there is a battle in your mind that oh maybe it's just a sexual object i'm gonna sell my body because I can make money. That, that's what society wants for me, so I'm gonna sell my body. So, nobody knows the pain. Nobody knows. And you need this now to start to speak out. This is her last match of the book. She encouraged girls to speak out, not being silenced anymore. Because this is happening in everywhere. Like, I came from Brazil, guys, I'll tell you. This is happening every hour. A little girl is being sexual abuse from their own family or from neighbors or from priest anywhere you cannot imagine this is how happening all the time hollywood you see here all the cases that is happening they try to silence girls from with their money so if we society don't help each other to stop prevent this this is never gonna happen i end because this is social in a social responsibility in, with individuals, like she tells in the book, she used to go to school, she used to go in many places in public, and a lot of people knew her situation, nobody did nothing. And I'm telling you guys that to me was the same. Many of her things she struggled, Kimberly, I struggled too in Brazil, and people don't do nothing. So there was an example, a little girl, she was 12 years old, and I was visiting a church in Islam in Brazil, and I saw a 12, 12 year, uh, years old girl pregnant. And then I, I asked to the people of the church, look, you guys are helping her. Why is she pregnant? Uh, what is going on uh, with her family? Why? Because this is not normal. And you guys are doing something. And I asked to the pastor, and nobody was doing nothing. Nobody was caring. Nobody, do you know what they say to me? They say, oh, this is normal. Girls these days, they start young, have sex. So they blame the victim. They don't listen to kids anymore. You just need to look in the eyes of your kids and see the signs. 
and nobody stopped to see the signs. And then what, what I did was visit her and then when I look into her eyes, I knew that something was wrong with her. Something was going on. She was ashamed. She was silent. I hugged her and I listened to her and then I said, what can I do to help you? She said, I just want to not have this baby. My mom is asking me to abort this baby. And then I start to talk with her, but uh, how did you end up pregnant? Then she started to be confident to me. And she told me that her own mom sold her to a neighbor that was a little bit uh, a little bit more have a little bit more money and gave her mom four hundred dollars to have sex with her and this guy was working in a hotel in my little town in, in Iguazu Falls and she told me all the story. Her own mom was prostituting her, was exploiting her because they were very poor. They were inside a slam. Her mom was a um, single mom and had five kids and she was the the, the oldest one and she was exploiting her own daughter and this is very common in Brazil it's happening all the time there the, the parents take the little girls to be exploited to other uh, truck drivers for 30 dollars to sleep with them for they not starve so it's a cycle that's never stopped because there's poverty and they use their body and when they're raping and then they can make money so Someone has to break this cycle. So I I didn't care if I was in risk, but I had to save that girl. I didn't care if I was in risk of that guy uh, follow me or if he, he was a gang criminal. No, I don't care. I said, I need to help this girl. I call the press. I call the cops. I call uh, the child's protection. I put everybody together. I said, you guys need to help this girl and know what is going on with her. And then there was many reports from neighbors saying that something was going on. There was many reports, but the cops didn't finish all the case because her mom was telling she was crazy and then she is minor, nobody was defending her. So this is a type of vulnerable girl that is gonna end up being sex trafficked. I was gonna, because you cannot think that sex trafficking is just when you are transport for another country. No, you can be sex trafficking in your own place, in your own country. Like this little girl, she was being sex trafficked from her own mom in her own city. And this is happening everywhere. So we need to see the signs. And this is all about this book. I recommend you to read. We have all the time now you're home. You're gonna do a good cause, good cause. Buying a book like this can help you be more great grateful can help uh, you help these vulnerable girls like this story I told you and can help this organization be a shiru to do more awareness and fight against sex trafficking let's gonna do this together guys let's gonna stop this evil there's so many painful things in the world but there's a lot of things you can prevent and this is the kind of thing you can prevent okay I'm not gonna long too much I just giving you this book for recommendation during this time of isolation you can learn a lot you can you can learn like how life is hard it's not just because you have a virus you're gonna be stuck in home that this is a painful life no there's so many other bad things around the world and especially here in America sometimes you have everything for granted we, we we sometimes are not grateful about everything you have, about all the facility, all the technology, ab uh, about all your liberty here, and and at some point this all change, change our life. Like you now, need to be stuck in home, we need to change our routine, and a lot of people are depressed and in panic. No, this is not time for panic. It's time to see the other good things you're having in your life and be more grateful. Because what you are living now in America, there are so many countries that are living a long time, like Ebola in Africa. Many people starve every day. Many many people die for Ebola, and there's a lot of refugee everywhere in Christ. So we need to teach this generation now how to be grateful. We need to teach our kids how to be grateful. And this is exactly an uh, opportunity moment how to be grateful for all the things that thought was okay for granted. And this is a great idea to start be grateful because this is happening everywhere. You're going to help this amazing organization, and you're going to help young girls too. Could be your daughter, could be you. Don't just think, ah, this is not my platform, this is not my cherry, I don't have nothing to do. But could be your girl, could be your daughter, could be your daughter, could be trapped, could be hated from anybody that you cannot even suspect. We need to teach our girls how to 
uh, identify pre predators. And that is a great start. Buy this book and be safe in home. Order from Amazon. I'm going to let the link here. Bye-bye, guys.